Hello, welcome back. All right, so this video is for the earth signs, my Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We're gonna take a peek in the area of love, whatever that means to you, and see what I can pick up on. It is a general reading, take it easy. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. All right, let's get straight to it. You know, <laughs> hmm. You may want to be intimate with someone, earth signs. There's, yeah, I'm feeling you wanting to be intimate with someone or maybe hook up with them, having that desire. I'm getting desire strongly, especially for those of you that indulge in any type of, you know, anything that might help stimulate desire. <laughs> I don't know. But any regardless, but especially like if you if you drink, it'll become stronger in that moment. But there is a level of concern. You might be concerned about connecting with this person or, you know, just literally being physical with them. Mm -hmm. Something something's there like it might it might not be the right time or Mm -hmm. or this is someone dealing with you, but I kind of feel like it's your energy, earth signs. There's a concern here about, but wanting, desire, very much desiring another person in certain moments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So there's that. There's this element of kind of waiting or not being quite at peace in the mind with executing that necessarily for whatever reason. There could be like a blockage of some kind in the way that makes the timing not right. I don't know. Many of you will find yourself unsatisfied in a situation with a person that you have deep feelings for. You know, there is love there. I can't really tell, you know, but there's different elements of love. But you're unsat, you know, this could be a romantic, it could be a family member, but you're just unsatisfied with in regards to this person and a situation. They may be sort of in hermit mode from you or being a wallflower at this time, not talking as much or maybe not at all. It's possible that they have water in their chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, they could be a water sign. The timing wasn't right with that or it's not right now. I'm getting, there's a heavy emphasis about timing for the earth sign energy. Mm -hmm. Someone here is also tired of waiting. There's like potential for an opportunity loss. Yeah, it's like a uh, tired of waiting on this, whatever it is, whether that's you or someone you're dealing with. I am also seeing a lot of like, you know, the past. There's something of the past that just needs to be let go. I don't know if it will be, but there's just a lot that's happened, you know? There may need to be healing around this situation, but I'm seeing that it, it going into a stagnant position or kind of, you know, could be some drama that, you know, just puts this, some people from the past that are significant to you, that you care about. I feel as if it's more than one into, you know, you're like, okay, I can't, you know, a resting position right now like a couple energies are going to go into resting you may not speak with them as much 
I feel like, you know, it's not permanent though. I do see, especially one person, you know, communicating again. So, all right, let's go ahead and pull some cards. A little awkward. Hmm. Something could get very awkward. Universe connected with the energies for the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Show me what's going on in love, current energy in love for my Earth signs. They just keep showing me timing, timing. It's time for a change, timing. Love for Earth signs. I'm getting very strongly that a masculine, a masculine wants to send a message of doing something out of duty, not out of true desire. Could be something in relation to finances or I don't know, like. But I'm not, I, would, I was not getting a lot of openness from the masculine energy at this time. Like, but that was a mess. That was too many cards. Show me energy. What's going on in love for earth signs? Um... First off, what this is like coming through, it's barging in the love reading. There's going to be some like drama or um, difficulty with a person at work. And you might like when they speak, you might be like, I cannot believe what you say. Or some three of pentacles or is this might be in a friend group. But the first thing that I was picking up was. It was work or an environment where you're working on something. Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Page of Wands. Like, this person is going to blow your mind. You're like, what? They may be kind of attractive to you, but you're going to totally dislike what they say. Okay. Now, I am also seeing competition in regards to love. There's, there's um, competing here for this Empress. Three of Pentacles, the Empress. And the Five of Wands. So, yeah. If you're the Empress, there's competition for you. Especially in an area where you're out in public, that you're there often. I mean, school, work. See, there's a lot of work energy coming up. Um, Actually, for most of the zodiac signs, it's, you know, anyway. But, yeah, or if you're pursuing the empress, there's a lot of competition for this feminine, okay? Now, the energy feels very slow. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. And it's kind of not really showing me a whole lot. The High Priestess and the Justice. I feel like there's someone that you're interested in, but they may be not speaking. You may dream of this person or you will meet them. The Justice and the High Priestess, they have a very serious face to them. Prominent jaw or prominent features, but definitely something about the jaw and chin area here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not really giving me a whole lot. I feel that just mostly competition for attention. What else? Someone may not respond back, whether this is you or another person. I'm like getting leaving on red. 
just not feeling like a flow of flow here. Three of wands. You could be waiting, choosing to hold off, choosing to wait, or someone is here. But you know, it's interesting because I do, the four of wands popped out with the three of wands. So I think that there will be a connection in the future or you, you, you know, someone may visit another person's home in the future, but this might take a while. Knight of pentacles, four of wands. For those of you that are, because I don't do specific for just single or it's whatever energy I pick up on. The energy a lot of times is semi, semi dual anyway. Um, love is either hitting or it's not. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. For those of you that have been in a connection, you've been in this connection for a really, really long time. It's predictable. It's stable. This might not be very interesting, though. Yeah, in this time frame. And this, there could be like some financial stress as well that plays into this put strain on a connection for those of you that are in one. If you are not in a connection, financial focuses and work takes up a lot of your, you know, your mind. It's very draining for you. Your work is draining and connections that you have with people in your home, in your family, those are draining for you too. It's not coming up very romantic. I'm sorry, Earth Signs. I mean, it's not necessarily bad. I'm getting consistency and and a lot of um, but it's not super lovey dovey either. And that's just the energy I'm picking up. Okay, so final message, please. Any final messages in love for the Earth signs? These cards are so stiff. I've been having trouble. You're karmically tied to an individual for a reason. And a lot for a lot of you, this may have to do with finances because money keeps popping up. Money, money keeps popping up in my mind. So this could be a factor. Your, your duties and your feelings may lie elsewhere. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to say that. What what else? What other messages? Final message for earth signs and love. <laughs> no strings and karmic ties. Interesting, they're kind of dual, aren't they? No strings and karmic ties. Some of you could be in a situation where you like hook up with this person. There's a lot of just desire, lust, very 3D dimension type of once in a while you guys kind of do this thing or interact. Um, There's something about desiring someone that maybe you can't have or you shouldn't. I don't know, I'm getting some like element of naughtiness here. I feel somebody not offering a lot of commitment or engagement with the, you know, like even if you're just trying to interact with this person, they're not really putting a lot, they're not throwing a lot back out, you know. But yeah, no, there's definitely like this, no, I don't want a commitment. I don't want this in with a particular energy, but very much desiring this energy. And then the love-hate card. I think there's a relationship. See, I think I'm talking about two different things. Like you may be desiring someone, but then there's somebody else here that's like you're involved in or you've known for a while, regardless of the level of your relationship. And it's kind of a love-hate thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. I... Mm -hmm. But for some reason, you may not see commitment potential in a different person. There, I feel like somebody may be wild or fun or something like that. Like something's just... but. I don't know. 
just keep feeling like this. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm not really picking up anything else, but there are two separate energies here, one of which you may be committed to, the other one you're definitely not, but there is like multiple energies, you know, involved here. Someone may want another person that's in, that's like married or in a relationship with someone else. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you. Bye-bye.